of enthusiasm around that presentation of the Star Spangled Banner. And we've got plenty more coming up. Stay tuned. Welcome to 2K Sports for another edition of NBA Basketball. This is Kevin Harlan courtside with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our reporter tonight on the sideline, David Aldridge. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now, these the new power rankings, they tell a great story. Taking a look at Detroit, they're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And seeing where the 76ers are, they've been sinking on this list to start out the year. Not what they or, or really anyone else expected, but that's why you play the game. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Ari out there with Bradley Beal. Then it's Robert Covington, and then there's Stephen Adams, and it's Ingram in at the three. And for Memphis, we've got Allen. Marcus Smart is out there with Garland. Then it's Zion Williamson, and it's Watanabe in at the small forward. Reagan, 1991, you were drafted 12th overall. Talk about early expectations as a first-round pick. Your son going through it right now. Yeah, I, I, no doubt. Listen, everyone wants to see what you've got. And also, you want to prove that you belong. And, and so, because of that, though, especially in today's game, sometimes judgment comes way too quickly. And we've seen it with a lot of great young players that because they come in a lot earlier in terms of their age, it may take them an extra year or two to figure it all out. And so the teams that are most patient in allowing those kids to mature at their own level tend to be the ones that get uh, the higher rewards. It, indeed. And we see so much impatience, and it causes problems. And he makes the first. Both good from the line that time. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. And there's the call on Kyle Lowry. That is his first foul of the game. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Now, here's Garland. While recovering. Smart deciding where to go with it. Here's Williamson. Goes back up. And Allen with the layup. Well, you see the hustle from Allen there, guys, and his relentlessness and the mindset to keep at it really allows him to gobble up those offensive boards. Now here's Adams. Excellent D there from Allen. Well, I like this young man, Jared Allen. He's still working to find consistency in his offensive game. He's a really good leaper and finishes at the rim, protects the rim. But his strength right now, which will always be his strength, I think, is his defense. He's outstanding at that end of the floor. Allen against Adams. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. The Grizzlies have gone two for four from the field so far today. And Clark, with Allen, he's still young, and the comfort on offense has yet to really find him. Yeah, and you know what? I think he's really scratching the surface there, Greg. I mean, this kid, is only he only played one year in college. And he's shown you that he can defend at a high level. And he looks like he's a worker, so I think his offensive game will ultimately catch up with his defense. And that one's good, Ingram. So easy to see just how dangerous Ingram is in the pick and roll. I mean, his size, long arms, shooting, ball handling. Uh, the defense is in trouble when he's pick and rolling. Now, here's Garland. 14 points from him the last game against Sacramento. Boy, I thought his passing was absolutely fantastic. I mean, really picked apart the defense all game long. And just so crafty around the hoop. Lowry, probably six feet at best, but and he can slip inside and score with the best of them. They get the rebound, and Covington sends it back. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Williamson. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Williamson's gone one of three shooting so far. Ingram deciding where to go with it. No good on that one. And so it's Smart. He'll bring up the ball for Memphis. 
They trail by one. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Philadelphia this year. Yeah, and they put up a goose egg last year when they played this team twice. And you look back at those games, just a one-sided affair between them. Now, here's Garland. Robert Covington unable to get his last shot to go. Williamson, the pass to Garland. Good, and the assist goes to Williamson. And, and really an underrated playmaker. Williamson with good court vision and solid decision-making. Beal, that's for two. That one a little long. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Allen, that's good. Well, you got to do much more than that to slow Allen. I mean, this guy is long and athletic, capable of converting through contact. And the 7 and Antonio looking to carry that into this one. Yeah, those road games are tricky, but, but they had a good strategy going in and stuck to what they do best. Yeah, you know, game balls all around in that one. A terrific team effort. They trusted in their system and executed well to get the win. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Williamson. Rebound by the 76ers. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of scoring. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And Memphis called for the foul. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown so far for Memphis. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Littles checked in, out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. One fifty-seven left in the first quarter. Curry looking around, fires the three, and Jones pulls it down. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And that one drops. Several lead changes going on here in the early portion of this game. Yeah, it reminds me of that cameo song, Back and Forth. Here's Mann. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Now, here's Maxi. He's guarded closely. It's good. 112 left to play here in the first. Jones, the pass to Allen. Back to Jones. And the pass to Bryant. Shot clock at six. No good that time. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Here's Maxi and slam dunk by Maxi. A precision passer, Curry, also excellent at seeing his guys when they're open. There's 47 seconds left to play in the first. Now here's Jones. He's coming off a 10-point game against Sacramento. And they pick up two. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Ingram outside. Twenty-three seconds left in the first quarter. Count it. And he's really been working to get those looks, and it's starting to pay off here early on. And here's Jones. A floater. A shot. No good. Here's Max. Little with the rebound. Oh, no excuse for a guy of his caliber. You've got to finish that slam. Got to be a little embarrassed by that one. Back right after this. And before the game, we checked in with Marcus Smart, who told us how his upbringing helped shape his approach to the game. I'm the youngest of four boys, so is anybody. And no question, Smart is considered one of the toughest guys, Greg, in the NBA. 
You have to love his passion, his willingness to sacrifice his body for the team on a nightly basis. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And uh, guys, what's, uh, what's your take so far on Philadelphia? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you know, you have a guy in there blocking a bunch of shots or multiple players blocking shots. It causes the offense to think twice when they go up for shots in there. Taking a look at the 76ers, Ingram is out there with Jaleel Okafor. That's Rajon Rondo. Then there's Seth Curry, and it's man in at the small forward position. And he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And Memphis called for the foul. And Ingram, the former Blue Devil, an extraordinary player who only promises to get better and better. Greg, not all drafts are the same in terms of talent, but 2019 was a year to remember. No doubt about it. I mean, transcendent talent at the top. You think of Zion and, and Ja, both could be future league MVPs. And the irony is that those two guys were teammates in high school. Go figure. Yeah, go figure is right. Well, for Memphis, their last game a loss to Sacramento. Here's Covington. Here's Ingram. Down it goes. His third basket. He's now three for four. Unselfishness always admirable in a basketball player. And Covington consistent at giving it up when one of his teammates is open. Smart against Beal. Outside, Smart. The 76ers leading by eight. Ingram passes to Beal. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Four on three break. There's Garland. Rejected by Ingram. In addition to being superb on offense, Ingram is also a ridiculously good defender. I mean, his long reach really allows him to come up with a good number of blocks. Zion Williamson's checked in for the Grizzlies. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Philadelphia. <laughs> Allen passes to Smart. He hits through for a second basket. He's now two for six. Yeah, the easy hoop assisted by Allen that time. He's developed a nice passing game. Here's Beal, and it's good. Two points. Beal's got the lead. Back up to eight now for the 76ers. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Offensive rebound. Here's Williamson, up and in on the layup. Williamson's got his second bucket of the night. Second chance opportunities. Williamson explosive into the air with the touch and concentration to finish. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. Yeah, another turnover there. But guys, overall, they've taken really good care of the basketball. Grizzlies have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Greg, last year, Williamson entered the NBA as one of the most well-known rookies since LeBron James. Already had millions of followers on social media. Global name recognition. He has an above-the-rim game that produces the kinds of highlights that people want to see. Here is Lowry. Darius Garland picking up that last basket. Outside for Beal. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Pass to Lowry. Just five to shoot. It's all in by Watanabe. The Grizzlies trail by four. To the middle, here's Williamson. And the layup's good off the glass. Williamson's got six points. You know, he started slow, but now in the second quarter, he's finding his groove. Here's Beal. That's in, coming off an assist from Lowry. And, you know, Lowry looks to set up his open teammates beautifully. Nice dime there, and it really keeps the team tied together nicely. Strength of the game, the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major, or it could be just a slight tweak. Johnson, he's checked in for Memphis. Axie's checked in for Philadelphia. 
And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. An absolute beast in close. Once Williamson has this kind of positioning, you pretty much have to foul. Allen's checked in for Smart. And both free throws, good for Williamson. For Philadelphia, they've gone four of six in the field here in the second. It's Beal on the wing. Let's it go with a three. Grizzlies with the rebound. Allen's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Johnson. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And some changes here for the Grizzlies. Little comes in for Allen. And Jones subbed in for Garland. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Greg, did you know when you were playing that you'd eventually want to call games, be in the broadcast uh, table? Kevin, no idea. I, I didn't have any clue. And quite honestly, didn't really think that there was a, a career that one could have in terms of broadcasting. You know, because cable was just kind of coming on as I was retiring. You didn't have your own network and the things that we take for granted now. So looking back on it, no, but boy, am I glad I did. I am glad you did, too. You, you probably don't remember <laughs> this. Doc Rivers and I were doing a game. You came over to say hi to the two of us, went back out on the floor. Doc nudges me and said he'll be great in TV something. We saw it then. He's a, he's a good mind. The man knows what he's talking about. Here's Adams following the score by Memphis. Axie passes to Adams. A massive energy force. Adams is about 270, and that's all nasty. Very hard to contain, and he draws a lot of fouls. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And he can't make the second free throw either. Listen both. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch, and the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Here's Jones after the made shot from Bradley. B Whoa, oh, that my. was a strong dunk. Oh. Just focusing on the task at hand, that's all you can do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Now here's Beal. He has six. Sinks the triple. Beal's got nine points. And with a smooth, fluid release, Beal's jumper does wonders for his team's offensive position. Lowry against Jones. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. Thomas Bryant, he's checked in for a little. Now here's Curry. Fires from deep. Does not find the basket. His second miss. He's now one for three. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. And Zion is a ferocious competitor, someone who sticks with plays and devastates defenses with those putback jams. Oh, that's straight TNT, baby. Uh, Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. Tell you what, you'd hate to be the guy having the responsibility of guarding him. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. 76ers lead by two. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Bradley, the old saying, no rebounds, no rings. How important is it to continue to have five guys go to the glass in the second half? Yeah, all five, all five guys. Well, I think we're too worried about getting out in transition. So uh, I think one through five, including the guards, I mean, we all got to get in there and rebound. You can't score unless you have the ball, right? Thank you. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, folks, welcome back. Ernie Johnson alongside the Jet. That's Kenny Smith. The Diesel, that's Shaquille O'Neal. A lot of big-time action so far in this one. For the 76ers, the first quarter was pretty even. And Kyle Lowry, one of the great do-it-all guards in the NBA. 
Penny, in your mind, does he get enough credit for what he brings to the court? You're right. He probably gets slept on a little bit. But uh, he's got a huge presence, obviously. He's a big shot maker and a big playmaker. Yeah, Larry was a late bloomer, but he puts up big numbers. He's not a flashy guy, but every team would love to have him. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at Zion Williamson, guys. In this game, he has been everywhere. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. Marcus Smart is out there with Garland. Then there's Allen. Then it's Zion Williamson. And it's Watsonabe in at the three spot. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. There's Garland. That one, no good. Good work defensively by Lowry. And here's Lowry. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. Four-point game. They can look forward to the Rockets Arena after this matchup to take on Houston. And that will conclude a four-game road trip. Shots good by Watsonabe. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. And not only is Smart one of the best defenders in the league, Greg, he's also one of the most versatile players in the NBA. Yeah, when you talk about players who can guard one through five, it's usually referring to Kawhi, PG-13, or Giannis. But Smart at 6'4 has the strength, the anticipation, and the toughness to hold his own against anyone. It's remarkable. Here is Lowry. Zion Williamson making his last shot. Great positioning on the putback. And the 76ers lead by one. They have to put a body on Adams. He's too good of an offensive rebounder to not pay attention. Smart passes to Watsonabe. Allen kicks to Garland. Pass to Williamson. Shoots over Covington. They get it back. Allen, that's good. Allen's got his third basket of the night right there. A good touch inside. I mean, Allen does have a nice-looking shot, but he's really at home near the hoop. Ingram outside. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Ajan Rondo has checked in for Bradley Beal. Greg, you and I talk about the big man, his role in the current NBA, and how they can possibly carry the standard for the great centers before them. You played with the great one and, and Patrick Ewing, so you have a great appreciation, I would I would think, for it. Oh, no doubt about it. And, and I think two guys kind of separated themselves a little bit. Uh, Nikola Jokic and, and Joel Embiid, I, I think, are the two guys that stand out for me because of their ability, in, in essence, to do everything well. They can shoot it. They pass it. They can shoot it from the free throw line. They give you rim protection. Uh, I, I throw Rudy Gobert up there as an elite center as well. Doesn't have the offensive impact that those guys have, but he does impact the game as well. Three young dynamic centers. Those are good names. Philadelphia with the ball. Following the score by Memphis. It's Ingram on the wing. Covington down low. Covered by Williamson. And it's sent back by Allen. And, and got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know, I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. Outside Lowry. Shoots the three. Another three for Philadelphia. And he is an elite-level decision-maker. Lowry understands when to pass out of that pick and roll and when to shoot. Now, here's Garland. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. Williamson, the pass to Allen. Second shot opportunity. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. Steven Adams picks one up. Not to be denied there. Allen playing hard. A little contact. Not going to bother. 
So both teams making some changes here. Philadelphia's gone 5 of 10 from downtown tonight. 50% exactly. Pass to man. Curry with the bounce pass. Ingram kicks to Curry. Okafer in the post, working on Allen. Okafer gets the bucket. Excellent concentration that time by Okafer. Even with the defense in his face, he never lost sight of the hoop. Allen outside. Outside Bryant. Allen against Kerr. Shoots from the high post. Second chance shot. Shot is good in the 76ers lead. is cut down to just one on the bucket from Bryant. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the 76ers. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. The emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Bryant finds Johnson. Outside, Jones. The pass to Allen. Six to shoot. Bryant with it. From deep. Rebound by the 76ers. And maybe he thinks he has that type of range, but I'm not sure who'd agree with him. Yeah, you know what? Sometimes guys have the green light to take that shot, but I don't think he's one of them. Jones, the pass to Bryant. Dishes it to Allen. With some arc, he lays it in. Allen's got eight. Oh, perfect timing there to knock down the teardrop. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Mann. They get it back. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second-chance points. And the 76ers lead by four. And, you know, that's the hustle and nose for the ball that P.J. Tucker possesses. You've got to get a body on him. Here's Jones. And the basket is good. Jones has got his second basket. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. And it's sent back by Allen. And at the close of the third quarter, still a close game, and both teams putting up points in a hurry. Philadelphia ahead, up two. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. Three tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Bryant with it. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. Taking a look at the 76ers. Steven Adams is out there with Brandon Ingram. Then there's Bradley Beal. Then it's Curry. And it's Mann in at the three. The small forward. Now here's Beal. Here's Curry. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. How sweet is that little teardrop right there, whether it's Steph or Seth, which is the case this time. The Currys, they've got that shot on auto dial. Here's Allen. Wants to get it to Bryant and does. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Up top, Curry. Over Garland. Curry's shot is off. Memphis trailing here. Some changes for Memphis. Zion Williamson's checked in for Jared Allen. And Smart subbed in for Allen. 
Then for the 76ers, Robert Covington comes in for Brandon Ingram, and it's Lowry in for Seth Curry. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Memphis moving it around. Now Garland to take the lead. And again, Memphis no good. And now the 76ers on the break. Peels running. It's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. And that's how smart Beal is. Knows how to angle his body through the contact and not let it affect the finish. The Grizzlies with another miss. Philadelphia leading by four. Lowry drives in, and he gets it to go. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And Memphis making a change here. Watsonabe's checked in, and Philadelphia also making a switch. Ingram's checked in. And a moment now to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Philadelphia. So far, they've turned in a fantastic performance from the three-point line. It's been a weapon all game. And also, guys, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Now here's Beal. Good on the shot. Beal's got four points in the quarter can't let Beal get that comfortable because he's so efficient once he gets in that area. We're in the fourth quarter here, just under two and a half minutes gone. They grab their own miss, and the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Now here's Ingram. With the shot. Bryant with the rebound. The Grizzlies trail by four. And Garland has it in the corner. And a miss there on the triple. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. Ingram passes to Lowry. Adams trying to free himself up. And the basket by Lowry. And the 76ers lead by six. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. This is why they go to Zion. His teammates trusting in his ability to get the job done. And now, let's present our New Balance player of the game, Brandon Ingram. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a slasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, during the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers talking to the team. He wants them to maintain their balanced attack, but he told them they're doing a great job of finding space out on the perimeter, which has led to all those good shots. He likes the rhythm and the flow of this offense. He just told them, keep shooting it with confidence. Kevin? Timeout called the Grizzlies. Brandon Ingram with a strong contribution so far in this one. Absolutely on fire. They need to regroup and figure out a way to slow his roll. And so here's Memphis. They trail by six. And there's the feed to Williamson. Shoots over Covington. And there's Williamson on the assist by Garland. Garland's got his fourth assist in this one. Outside, Beal. Stolen by Smart. Four on three as they bring it up. Now, here's Garland. Now recovering. Garland with the bucket. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Well, you don't want to give him any open shots at this stage. Never mind the layup. Come on now. My goodness. Not shying away from the spotlight. Beal wanting to be the guy to come up big for his team. Jared Allen's checked in for Memphis. And that one falls for Beal. 
Oh, and he caps that off in style. He gets the finish with the harm. Huge possession there to extend the lead. Now, here's Garland. Covington with the steal. Beal, that's for two. And it's Williamson with the rebound. Williamson's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Count that one. And that's an owner's manual possession to get them a good look there. And so Lowry will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Three-point lead, and the shot goes in. 20 points for Bradley Beal. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. To the inside. And it's Williamson missing. A 76ers leading by five. And that one is good. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Guys, when you're this hot, it's elementary. Let it fly. Keep staying at it. And the dunk by Williamson. Look at this young man come through in the clutch. Zion appearing more than ready to deliver. Now here's Beal. 40 seconds left in the game. Here's Ingram. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Love how Ingram toys with the opposition. Just is unflappable, drawing contact easily on these kinds of shot attempts. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Sensing an opportunity here to increase the lead and capitalizing on it. The wide-open look here for Garland and the three off target. Boy, they dodged one there, guys. I mean, he got the wide-open look that he wanted, just didn't knock it down. And it's just competing, you know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Good composure from the line there. Those shots sealed it. And stolen by Kyle Lowry. Covington dishes to Beal, and it goes out of bounds. Out of bounds. That one off Covington. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. From the arc. Offensive rebound. Williamson on the follow. And the offensive skill set Williamson has off the charts. And the scary thing is, guys, he's only going to keep getting better. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. Boy, a fantastic performance. And I'll tell you something, I mean, you get roadkill, that's always a challenge in the NBA, no matter what. And they got it done. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win, but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. It's really an outstanding effort all the way around. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on... Thank you.